Craig, excellent win for you today. Yeah, really happy to sort of win today. Um, not great first half, to be honest. Obviously, a lot of frustration, but that's what's pleased me the most today, I think. Just to sort of stick in the game and then second half, really sort of turn it on and uh, deserve to win in the end. Yeah, you could have been a couple down if Hereford had taken the chances early on, but you showed good resilience to get through it and, and deserve it winners in the end. Yeah, they were breaking away and they had a, a really good chance, obviously, they were a sitter that were missed, but then we did have a couple of chances as well, to be honest with you, but there was, there's no doubt we weren't at it in the first half. But we stayed in there, we talked about staying in the game, and then second half we sort of overpowered them a little bit, I think. You've been crying out for people to get on the end of Ben Davis's free kick deliveries and your first two goals today proved that point. Yeah, we're very lucky with Ben. He's obviously got great delivery and he puts it in great area. And uh, the lads today have done what you need to do and get into them crosses. And uh, I'm really pleased that we scored a couple of set pieces actually. Two of your new boys in where it hurts, Gavin Allen and Josh Hine, and that gave you a pretty commanding lead. Yeah, I mean, look, they're both good, honest lads, and uh, they put their in where it hurts, like you said. And uh, I'm really pleased for them both today. Gav, especially, I thought had a really strong second half, and uh, really happy with him today. And then the goal to wrap it all up was very well taken by Jordan Slew. We've not seen too much of him yet, but we know he's got a good pedigree and that was a very good finish. Delighted for the lad. Um, he's trained really well the last two or three weeks. Really impressed with him. Um, I'm trying to ease him in with minutes and, and build up his fitness, but he's, he's knocking on the door. He really is. He's, he's, he's looked good in training. He's come on today, looked very lively and he took his goal superb, so really delighted for him. Two debutants today, one in goal, one at centre-half. How do you feel they fared? Yeah, it's always difficult coming in and making a debut at home. Um, the pressure's on. Obviously, we've got a good defensive record as well, so it's important that they're sort of bought into that. But um, both did the jobs and uh, played the part in a good performance in the second half. And today, it makes it back-to-back -back home wins after that run of four 2 0 defeats. It looks like you've really turned a corner. Yeah, look, it's um, it's the nature of this league. You're going to take hits. I've said about the bumps in the road as you go along. And uh, last week we took one. I think it were very harsh on us. Um, I thought we did pretty well last week, but we've uh, rubbed ourselves down, done a good week of training, and come and got the the win today. Fourth tonight. We've cut the gap on Chorley to six points. You're um, you're right in amongst it. Yeah, look, I mean, look, you can throw a blanket over most teams. So, um, but enjoy it while it lasts. I mean, this is a thing in this league. The wins need to be celebrated and enjoyed because they're hard to come by and obviously to be in the top five then that's great for everybody involved but there's a long way to go. Brack clear up there, um, drew one all at FC United today but will pose you a big challenge on Tuesday night. No question, um, fantastic manager, fantastic team, um, proper non-league team that they're going to test us, um, they're going to come and, and give it a right go so but these are the tests we want, we want to know how far away we are and, and what we need to do and uh, should be another good game at home.